Up first, the kill test. Doug? Bladesmiths, what kind of lethal damage will a weapon like the Russian Pioneer Sword do? Well, to find that out, we will take your sword and deliver slashes and thrust on this dear carcass. Mark, you're up first. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. I think my sword's going to hold up to the deer. I'm not really intimidated by it. It's not the first deer I've seen hanging. <laughs> OK, Mark, let's talk about your weapon right here. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but you know what? It felt very good cutting each time, cutting through the spine and lacerating through. Overall, your weapon will kill. Thank you. Good job. Nicholas, your turn. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm nervous going into this test. My stomach is absolutely lurching. Plus, Mark's blade performed pretty well, so that's certainly adding to my anxiety. Well, Nicholas, that was a lot of fun. The handle's on the smaller side. When he held on to it, you could feel the ridges, so that's good. You can tell where the edge is. Just a concern that it might be an issue when you're moving it around. Your tip penetrated easily all the way through. The edge is cut right through the ribs, right through the spine, all the way through this deer carcass. Overall, your weapon will kill. Thank you. Smith, welcome to our strength test. Now, I think pioneer, I think horses. So I'm going to take your Russian pioneer swords and smash them into these horse skulls. Now, I'm not too concerned what your swords do to the skulls. I want to see what the skulls are going to do to your swords. Mark, you're up first. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, Mark, that first couple swings, it twisted a little bit. You did get some chipping on the edge here, right in that sweet spot. Otherwise, everything's still tight. It felt good. Good job. Thank you. Nicholas, what are you thinking? A little nervous. That's all right. We're going to do it anyway, so. Oh, I know. I <laughs> wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> cool. I'm especially nervous about the strength test because I had to rush my heat treat. This is going to be a make or break moment for this thing. Nicholas, this was difficult to control. It's very forward heavy. You got chipping on the edge here in a couple spots. The real killer for me, though, was the seam in your handle. This right here is sharp. Most of your control is in these three fingers, and these two are getting cut into. So the handle's a problem. Mark, Nicholas, both of you have done an incredible amount of work to get to where you are right now. But in this competition, there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. Mark, congratulations. You are a new Forest and Fire champion. Nicholas, unfortunately, your weapon didn't make the cut. Nicholas, despite taking damage, both of your weapons performed pretty equally. But at the end of the day, we all agreed that handle just hurts to use. And that's why we're sending you home. I understand. Nicholas, please surrender your blade. This is more or less what I was expecting. Things were just so rushed and chaotic at the end there. You know, something had to give, and if it's a little sharp spot on the handle, and that's made the difference, I'm okay with that. I still chopped a deer in half, and I don't think everybody can say that.